on the off chance that you have a supercar and put it away for the winter and are searching for a winter mixer that is not a SUV, here are two extremely convincing decisions. The Porsche Panamera Turbo and BMW M760i are two major engine, super sumptuous official cars that influence you to feel like a manager. With all-wheel drive, legitimate winter tires, and warmed everything, they are grand journey monsters to get you through the cool months. It won't not appear like logical examination, but rather as tried, these enormous vehicles, ok one's not by any stretch of the imagination a car, coordinate pretty intently in cost, around $170,000. About $180,000 in Canada, and in spite of them being very surprising autos with entirely unexpected motors, it's not insane to believe that individuals would cross shop them. Be that as it may, subsequent to driving them consecutive, we realized that they're gone for two altogether different purchasers. The greatest edge that the BMW has over the Porsche is that every little thing about it is over the best, it's cool, yet slightly additional. The matte paintwork is over the best, the V12 motor is over the best, even the key is over the best, it resembles a small cell phone with a touch screen, however it isn't so much that valuable on the grounds that all that you can do with this key you can do with an application. The tech in this is additionally finished the best, motion controls, kneading and leaning back seats, somewhat table in the back, two screens, delicate shutting in true ways, a removable tablet, and a hassock. These all look really cool, are helpful for individuals being chauffeured and are amazing to individuals who are sufficiently fortunate to ride with you, yet they can be very gimmicky and aren't that valuable for individuals in the front two seats. Likewise, these screens in the back aren't touch screen, so travelers need to utilize an incorporated tablet to control the seat mounted screens, which bodes well on the off chance that somebody sitting in the back is excessively leaned back, making it impossible to achieve it. In any case, it is super cool that the M760i is essentially a business class lodge, and in case you're being driven, it is a tasteful and agreeable approach to get around. On the road. The M760i is huge, reckless, and has a huge amount of mentality. When somebody sees this auto moving not far off, they know somebody critical is inside. Extraordinary compared to other parts of the BMW is the manner by which it quickens. This V12 is one of the smoothest motors out there and it's a similar one that Rolls-Royce utilizes, which says a great deal in regards to how great it is. It surges forward easily regardless of what adapt you're in and only a little tap on the pedal is all it takes. Positively no vibration or cruelty makes it into the lodge. The huge 6.6-liter twin-turbo V12 is one of the greatest motors you can purchase and it yields 600 drive and 590 pound-feet of torque which is accessible from only 1,900 revolutions per minute. The power gets to each of the four wheels through an 8-speed programmed transmission. It normally has a back wheel inclination, however when it's wearing winter tires, it is a creature in the snow. In spite of the fact that the BMW is equipped towards individuals who need to be chauffeured, the M760i still figures out how to feel incredible from the driver's seat. I drive it solely in down mode on the grounds that the controlling is simply too light generally, however next to its undeniable weight, and it is super substantial, the BMW handles like a considerably littler auto. This fantastic dealing with has a great deal to do with the back hub guiding that makes the forcing vehicle more steady at high speeds, more agile at ring down paces, and more created in the corners. The enormous car doesn't love corners, however it feels sure, if just somewhat lumbering, on a twisty street. The dynamic suspension control framework joins with the damper control framework and the air suspension to keep move to a base while as yet keeping things cushy. The auto's weight additionally encourages it skim over unpleasant surfaces, so it just irons out terrible streets. What's more, the BMW likewise simple to stop and move in spite of how enormous it is. The back guiding influences it to feel like it has a substantially shorter wheelbase and the variable directing eliminates the exertion expected to wind through parking structures. It additionally has a helpful 360 best view reinforcement camera that shows you in case you're in danger of dinging the auto alongside you. Joined with a multitude of sensors, drivers will have no dread when docking this ship. What's more, on the off chance that you've at any point stopped in a recognized that is too tight to serenely leave, the BMW has a perfect component that will enable you to half stop it, leave the auto, and afterward complete the stopping work remotely utilizing the touchscreen key. It works, yet it's not extremely smooth or instinctive and it takes too long to set up. 
The infotainment framework is tremendously enhanced and the head-up show is fresh and helpful. The principal screen has a couple diverse information choices, drivers can utilize the touch screen or the rotating handle that likewise perceives penmanship when you draw over it, which is extraordinary while driving so you don't need to look through letters and take your eyes off the street. The menu structure has been disentangled, however regardless it requires somewhat of an expectation to absorb information. Panamera fights back. When it comes down to infotainment, the Panamera is around three screens, four on the off chance that you tally the key, however the one the driver utilizes is the most is presumably the most critical, and it's better than BMW's setup for a couple of reasons. The menu structure is significantly more natural, the choices are clear, and as a rule is simply better thoroughly considered and more easy to use. The inside additionally looks substantially more current than the Porsche, and I like that the massive caches has been supplanted by a smooth buttonless setup. It works in light of the fact that everything is very much marked and gives you haptic criticism when you push the catches, which don't get as oily as you'd think. Porsche disentangled the inside all while making it prettier and more easy to use simultaneously. BMW's inside winds up looking dated in correlation. The Panamera is a Porsche, after all. And keeping in mind that the Panamera Turbo doesn't accompany each one of those favor official secondary lounge highlights and cool tech that the BMW does, it is the better driver's auto of the two, and it's a Porsche, so that shouldn't come as an astonishment. The Panamera is down four chambers, yet it feels considerably more like a game's auto, which the BMW does not. The Porsche feels more deft in corners and the directing is a lot more alive and responsive. The Sportback shows a freshness all around that the BMW needs. Like the BMW, the Panamera Turbo has raised wheel controlling that influences it to feel more deft and gives it a more tightly turning sweep, and also a standard three-chamber air suspension that considers sports auto taking care of without giving up comfort. I venerate the way the Panamera Turbo handles. The Panamera Turbo is controlled by a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 that yields 550 pull and 567 pound-feet of torque, which is clearly a lot not exactly the BMW. Power gets to every one of the four wheels by means of Porsche's phenomenal late speed PDK. This sportback is packed quicker than you'd ever require it to be. It gets to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds and the BMW does it in 3.7, yet with the Sport Chrono bundle, which our auto has, it does it in 3.4 seconds. The V12 BMW gives me the chuckles in a straight line, yet the Panamera is really engaging in corners. The verdict. 2018 BMW M760i vs Porsche Panamera Turbo Comparison These two autos are gone for altogether different customers. As tried, the Porsche is the better pick for drivers, while the BMW is better for individuals who want to be driven or individuals who esteem extravagance over taking care of. On the off chance that you like to be chauffeured, the BMW wins this correlation without a doubt. It has the distinction status, and sheer wow factor that individuals shopping official vehicles need. In spite of the fact that I discover it extremely difficult to state no to anything with 12 chambers, at last, I'm a driver, and I jump at the chance to drive. So the Panamera Turbo winds up being my own pick, despite the fact that the BMW is the better official vehicle.